Good day everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the mixed methods research, particularly its nature and characteristics. First, let's answer the question, what is mixed methods research? According to Cresswell in 2012, a mixed methods research design is a procedure for collecting, analyzing, and mixing both quantitative and qualitative methods in a study for purposes of understanding a research problem. Furthermore, it is based on the assumption that the use of both methods, which are quantitative and qualitative research, provides researchers with a better understanding of the research problem in question than either method by itself. Now, it should be noted that since the mixed methods research involves elements of both qualitative and quantitative research, the researchers who use this design are expected to know and understand both quantitative and qualitative research properly in order to effectively conduct this method. It is necessary that researchers who would conduct this method are not only familiar but are also able to fully understand how each type of research works in order to avoid having complications during the research process. Now that we're able to understand what mixed methods research is, let's focus on this question. What are points to consider when conducting mixed methods research? It is worth noting that the mixed methods research design is considered as an advanced method. As such, procedures tend to be time-consuming and requires extensive data collection and analysis. This is because in mixed methods research design, as what was mentioned earlier, it requires the collection of both quantitative and qualitative data in order to have a clearer understanding regarding certain issues or phenomena. Also, the mixed methods consists of merging, integrating, or linking of qualitative and quantitative data in order to provide a more meaningful discussion of results. As such, a researcher who is conducting a mixed methods research is not merely collecting separate sets of data for research. Rather, it is his or her responsibility or task to analyze and establish the connection or relationship between these two sets of data in order to come up with a clear explanation or a clear answer to solve a particular problem or issue. Now at this point, let's focus on the next question. When is a mixed method study conducted? It should be noted that there are different reasons for using the mixed methods design when conducting a research study. First is that using the mixed method design allows researchers to build on the strengths of both quantitative and qualitative data. Now, it is already understood that mixed methods research involves a collection, analysis, and interpretation of two types of data. The first one is quantitative data which are numeric data which are statistically analyzed in order to provide useful information about certain trends involving a large group of people. The other one would be qualitative data, which are data based on narratives of participants which offer different perspectives and provide a complex picture of a certain situation. When combined in the mixed methods research, the results helps researchers to come up with a complex or a detailed picture of a certain social issue or phenomenon. This is because the results obtained from one data set can reinforce the findings gathered from the other data set. Next, mixed methods research may be conducted when one type of research is not enough to address a problem or answer the questions. It is worth noting that researchers conducting mixed methods are able to collect additional data needed in order to further elaborate or provide supporting evidences that would help explain the initial dataset that has been collected. Say for example, we have a researcher who has conducted interviews to a selected group of individuals. Based on the interviews and their responses, he is able to identify the themes, the trends, and the different variables. These variables would then be used as a reference for designing a research instrument which shall then be used for data gathering from a bigger group of individuals. Based on the results gathered from analyzing the quantitative data that has been collected, this will then be used to verify or support the findings from the qualitative data that has been collected earlier. 
And lastly, mixed methods research may be conducted if a researcher wants to provide an alternative perspective in a study. We have to remember that conducting mixed methods research helps researchers to have a more in-depth understanding behind certain phenomena. As such, it allows researchers to have knowledge regarding how certain trends or results come to be. Let's take this example. A researcher, based on his initial data gathering, was able to determine the most favorite type of movie. In order to learn more about these results, he then decides to conduct interviews to selected research participants. Through this process, the researcher is then able to find more answers that would explain the reasons behind the results from the gathered data. Now at this point, we're going to talk about the characteristics of mixed methods research. A mixed methods research designs can be distinguished from other types of research designs by recognizing the following characteristics. First is the research rationale. When reviewing mixed method studies, it is important to know the rationale of the researcher for conducting such a study. Researchers conducting a mixed method study provides justification behind the need to collect both quantitative and qualitative data. This justification usually is dependent on the research design that is used. Since each type of mixed methods research design has its own objectives, the rationale for the collection of both quantitative and qualitative data is influenced by the objective of the research being conducted. Next is data collection methods. Mixed methods research designs are characterized by the collection of both qualitative and quantitative data. As such, it is necessary that researchers conducting mixed methods design discuss which specific forms of both qualitative and quantitative data are going to be collected in order to discuss it in the data gathering process. Knowing the forms of data that will be collected would allow the researcher to determine how the data shall be treated and analyzed in order to ensure that the results gathered are accurate and are able to provide relevant information that will help address the research problem and question. Next is data priority. In a mixed methods design, the researcher tends to place more emphasis on one type of data than on other types of data collected. When conducting a mixed methods design, data priority may take the form of any of the following. First is when quantitative and qualitative data are of equal weight. Or it could be when the quantitative data is of greater weight than the qualitative data, or even when the qualitative data is of greater weight than quantitative data. We have to take note that the data priority in each mixed methods design would differ depending on the objectives of the research that is being conducted as well as the research design that is being used. And lastly, we have data gathering sequence. When we talk about data gathering sequence, this refers of course to which type of data the researcher will be gathering first and so on. Depending on the type of mixed methods research design used, data collection sequence may be in different forms. First is that when both quantitative and qualitative data are collected at the same time. Second, is when quantitative data is collected first, followed by qualitative data. Third, is when qualitative data is collected first, followed by quantitative data. And last, is when both data are collected at the same time and in sequence. In a nutshell, Mixed methods research designs is a kind of research that is characterized by the collection of both qualitative and quantitative data. Conducting a mixed methods research allows the researcher to have a more detailed and clearer understanding of certain phenomena and its underlying reasons. And of course, depending on the type of mixed methods research designs, there are different characteristics that would help distinguish a mixed methods study from other studies.